as my colleague so interestingly pointed out, it's not a cumulative record, it's a cumulative record. <laughs> <laughs> my thought was, yes, error logs on a computer, uh, which ironically would be a cumulative record and a cumulative record at the same time. But uh, no, don't. Just, it's bad. Anyway, so cumulative record is what we're thinking of here. Ah, this is a genuinely Skinner-ish thing since he invented the cumulative recorder. All right. Um, so the basic idea is really simple. Count behavior. That's it. So if I, if I, if I do one behavior, right, so I'm going to wave at you. Hi. So there's one behavior. I can wave at you again. Now there's two behaviors. I can wave at you again. Now there's three. I can wave at you again. There's four. I can wave at you again. There's five. You notice how my hand keeps going up? Well, on a cumulative recorder, it would do just that. The little pen would be tracking across the paper, and it would just go up. Every time a behavior happened, it would tick up, right? Um, so it's, it, it, it's a cumulative record of how much you behave, not over a minute or something like that. It's literally, here's how much behavior this person or this organism has engaged in. It's cumulative. You're adding it all up, right? So cumulative record. Uh, it's a useful, very useful tool, especially in experimental analysis of behavior or understanding rates of responding. Um, Skinner invented this tool, and the this is one of those situations that allowed him to actually understand uh, the functions of schedules of reinforcement. There's way more to it, and you're going to have to see a longer video for that. Goodbye.